So if I'm looking at number one, it says on parallelogram PQRS, P is located at negative 1, 6. So let's go ahead and draw that. Let's write that next to P, negative 1, 6. And S is located at negative 7, negative 3. What is the slope of QR? Well, it tells us that this is a parallelogram, so we know that PS and QR are parallel to each other, right? They didn't give us any information about QR, so how are we supposed to figure out what the slope of QR is? No. Our slope formula, right, but what are we supposed to be using? How's that going to get us to QR? Nope. I think we are overthinking this. Isn't the slope of PS the same as the slope of QR? Yeah. Okay. Do we have coordinates for the slope of PS? Yeah. So if I found the slope of PS, then, you know the slope of then I know the slope of QR. We were overthinking that by a long shot. All right. So we use what we've been given, which is P to S, and we know that those slopes are parallel to each other because this is a parallelogram. So let's take a minute and find the slope of PS, so I'm going to say this is the slope of PS, that's what I'm finding first, because I know that those slopes are the same if it, they're parallel. Okay, so take a minute, be careful with your negative signs, remember Y goes on top, not X. Your Y values go on top in your formula. I'm getting positive 9 over positive 6. You don't reduce. You always reduce. Okay. Divide them both by 3 and you get 3 over 2. So the slope of PS is 3 over 2, which means what is the slope of QR? Okay. So we're going to say that here. The slope of QR is 3 over 2. Okay. Yes. I can't hear anything you're saying. Will we ever flip what? The slope to do the opposite reciprocal? Is that what you're asking? No. The, if we did that, that would tell us if this is a right angle right here. Okay. Uh, if this one was, if this slope PQ is opposite of this one, then that would tell us is a right angle. So if we had geometry in real life, not that this isn't real life, in traditional public school, yes, you would, because we would spend way more time on that. We don't have a lot of time here, so we are, I'm not going to make you go through that whole big test. Okay? All right, let's look at number three. It says on rhombus, what does rhombus mean about all the sides? Thank you. They're all the same, so let's go ahead and mark that since we know that to be true. That we may or may not need that but it's good to mark it. In rhombus, W, X, Y, Z, W is located at negative 5, negative 2. And Y is located at 3, negative 2. Mm, this is a good question, Brooklyn, actually. What is the slope of X, Z? Now, they didn't give us anything about X, Z. They gave us W, Y. Look back, though, if this is a rhombus, what do you know about in the middle, about those angles in the middle? They're what? They're 90, right? We know that all these in the middle are 90 degrees, okay? So that means that they are perpendicular. These two lines are perpendicular to each other. And if two lines are perpendicular, Brooklyn, what do you know about their slopes? They're the opposite reciprocal, right? So if I find the slope of WY, mm -hmm. 
Okay, then if I use the opposite reciprocal of this slope, that's going to give me x, z. Does that make sense? Because they're perpendicular. So if I find the slope of w, y first, and I flip it, that's going to be the slope of x, z. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the slope of w, y. So Brooklyn, I was wrong, you will use that. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is what? Zero. 0. Over negative 8. What's 0 divided by anything? Zero. So this slope is 0. Doesn't that mean no solution? Nope. You can, a slope of 0 is still a slope, right? It's just a flat slope. You don't have any incline. Okay, so 0 can still be a slope. Is it infinity? It's not infinity. What's the perpendicular of a 0 slope? Say that again, Abby. Undefined. Remember we talked about two lines this way. A horizontal line is a zero slope. A vertical line is undefined. Do you guys remember that from unit two? So <clears throat> the slope, if wy slope is zero, that means the slope of x y, xz has to be undefined. Good job, Abby. So I'm going to say the slope of xz is undefined because it's the opposite reciprocal of zero. Okay. All right, number five. It says on parallelogram STUV below, if S is located at negative four one, so let's go ahead and mark that. S is located at negative 4, 1. Mark that on your paper. Negative 4, 1. And T is located at 5, 3. How can you find the length of VU? Any ideas here? Well, okay, length is that slope, Donald? No. What is it? No. It's a distance. Okay. Crystal? Isn't um, isn't VU also um, negative four one and um, five three respectively since it's a parallelogram and they're but they're not the exact same points. They're not the same points, right? Okay, if they're they're they can be parallel. You're saying if this is also negative four one, then this is the exact same line. This should be up here and it should be the exact same line. What I think you are thinking about is these two lines are congruent, right, because it's a parallelogram. So if you find the distance of ST, isn't that going to be the same as the distance of VU? Yeah. I think that's what you were trying to get at, okay? So how are we going to find the length of ST? Use the distance formula. On your brown papers, please pause. On your brown papers with your vocab sheet. I want you to write beside the word distance. I want you to put measure and length. All of those words mean distance. So if you see the word measure or length, you should be using the distance formula. Okay? So let's go ahead and find the distance of ST, and I'm sure you all wrote this, D of ST, because you wrote your label. Go ahead and find the distance. Oh, I didn't like that. Well, you should.
Daniel, what is negative 9 squared? Positive 81 or negative 81? Hmm. It's not what you said on your test. Just checking. What do you say? I want to make sure. Uh, I thought it was a silly mistake. No. 81 plus 4 is what? 85. Okay. We should be able to handle the distance formula, so find your mistake up there, please. So the distance of ST is 80, the square root of 85. What is that as a decimal? 9. Nine point what? Two. Two. Now, is that what they asked me for? Is the, the length of ST? What they asked me for? V U. V U. So I know that the measure of V U, and I don't need to put a line over V U if um, I'm talking about the measurement. And you can say it's the square root of 85 or approximately 9.2. All right, so your assignment today is to do 2 through 8 and number 7, the ones we didn't do on this page. Okay, so you have five problems to do today. Yep, and number 7.